cybercrime is rapidly on the rise. It has surpassed illegal drug trafficking as a criminal moneymaker, and in 2015, UK consumers lost 1.7 billion to cybercrime. Pretty serious stuff. The National Crime Agency believes that organised crimes have taken advantage of the opportunities presented by the internet, particularly the growth in e-commerce and online banking. So let's take a look at the three main types of cyber attack, and most importantly, how you can do your best to avoid them. Number one, distributed attack. This is where malware is installed on multiple computers. There are various ways that a distributed attack can reach your PC or mobile device. Encryption and ransomware. Hackers encrypt your files and hold your data to ransom. Never pay the ransom. More often than not, they'll take your money and still not unlock your data. The only solution is to restore your data from backup. Browser manipulation. The malware can manipulate what you see on your browser and steal your data. For example, the malware inserts a few extra lines of code into your bank's website. The website looks the same, but the malware is stealing your data. Keylogger. This type of malware sits in the background of your PC and captures what you're typing to learn your behaviour and potentially catch your personal data. Distributed denial of service or DDoS. Bombards your website with traffic until the server collapses and goes offline. So how could you get caught by this malware? You install it. It could be in the form of a website download, a pop-up box, the you're a winner type of messages, email attachment, or USB drive. How do you avoid it? Don't click on any links or pop-ups that look suspicious or that you're not expecting. If in doubt, don't click. On a PC, you can press Alt and F4 to close the window completely. Number two, central attack. This is where a central system is hacked in a bid to get customer data, usually for financial gain. Alternatively, a central attack may be done in the name of hacktivism, for moral, social or political reasons. A prime example of this was the Ashley Madison hacking scandal in 2015, which saw thousands of clients from the infidelity dating website have their personal details stolen with the threat of exposure if the parent company didn't shut down. How do you avoid it? Unfortunately, you can't. That's to say you have absolutely no control over whether or not this happens. But central systems are becoming more and more vigilant and resistant to such attacks. Number three, personal attack. This is exactly what it says on the tin. A personal attack on your data. The most common types of personal attack are email spoofing, telephone spoofing, and letter spoofing. How can you avoid it? Be cybercrime aware. Stay vigilant and use your common sense. If someone calls you from Microsoft to remotely log onto your home computer, the chances are it's fake. Ask yourself if it's too good to be true. If the answer is yes, then it probably is. We hope you found this useful. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.